Uh, let's move on to the next topic. The next topic is going to be taxation. All right, a lot of talk about taxation. We have, we have, this is going to be your job to be concise, to get your point across on both sides. Uh, same rules apply, of course. But I believe we're going to start this time with the Occupy side on what your position is on taxation. I'm so glad. I'm really happy. <laughs> All right, can you hear me now? Okay. Yes. It's great that this that this topic has come up because I think that the media has really destroyed any semblance of trying to understand, giving people an intelligent dialogue about how Occupy stands on this. And the truth is that as Occupy, we believe that there is an incredible injustice within the taxation system right now. And that the fact that people who make the highest income, who are struggling the very least in this tough economy, are not asked to pay their fair share, are not asked... That's not true. Let me finish, please, please. Are not asked, are not asked to pay effective tax rates that are even the same, not even, not even greater, but even the same as secretaries, as people who make much less money, is an injustice. And what it represents, actually, is a redistribution of wealth. It's a redistribution of wealth, a very socialist redistribution of wealth in exactly the wrong direction. When corporations like General Electric pay effective tax rates that are negative, that means that the government is giving them a tax credit for their billions of dollars. It's giving them a check for their billions of dollars in profits. When companies like BP that spill millions and millions of gallons of oil into our Gulf Coast are then compensated with our tax dollars for those losses, that's socialism. That's a redistribution of wealth. And what we want is a fair taxation system. We want fair taxes on the rich, fair taxes on corporations, so that we can provide social services to everybody in this country in an equitable and fair way. It's as simple as that. Um, all taxation is theft. <laughs> Every single time the government takes one dollar out of your paycheck that you that you worked really hard for and puts it into entitlements or into war or into any other stupid government bureaucracy, they're stealing from you. So just recognize that point, that the government steals from you every single day. Now, moving onward. Being the fact that we have to work within this horrible, crappy system that we're stuck with right now, I have some facts and numbers. Mm. The top 1% pays 38% of all federal taxes. 38% the, of all The top 5% pays 58% of, of all federal taxes. The top 10% pays 73% of all federal taxes. Now, if I make a million dollars, I work my ass off to make that million dollars. I'm not going to hand it out to other people because they don't have the smarts to make a million dollars. It's my money. You know, it doesn't surprise me that the 1% is paying such a disproportionate share of the federal taxes because last year, coming out of this so-called recovery, 93% of new income growth went to the 1%. 93% of the new income generated in this country went to the top 1% of earners. So the fact of the matter is that there's a massive redistribution of wealth going on. And of course, people that are pushed to the limit, that can't afford to pay their rent, that can't afford to go to college or send their kids to school, people like that aren't even in a position to be able to pay taxes. It's a, it's a horrible injustice in this country. And everybody should pay their fair share. Yes. And yes, we need to overhaul or even end the Fed and the Treasury, which are an absolute cohorts with Wall Street. And I'm including the Obama administration in that, which is highly funded by Wall Street. Can I ask a question? What is the fair share number? The fair share number? What is the fair share number for income Are you talking tax? about for corporate taxes or for personal, personal income tax. taxes? Personal income tax. Let's look at countries that have fair progressive no, What's our fair That's share it. number? What is the United States fair share number? Personal income tax. If you're a HIPAA measure or not? Because it's complicated. The fact of the matter is, we all respond. Let me, let me respond to this. Let me respond. Let me respond. I think that we're both in agreement that the tax code is broken. Two minutes of the fair tax We're in agreement about that. that. We're in agreement about that. The fact of the matter is that it needs an absolute overhaul. 
That's totally true. Okay, and but I asked for a number. You keep this. Here's the problem. When you tackle the tax problem, you don't tackle it based on titles. You actually tackle it based on category. For instance, a couple things you said that were wrong. Uh, one, we tax people wrongly in this country. That On that statement, we agree. I'm a proponent of the fair tax, which is consumption-based. It has a prebate for those in lower income brackets. The problem with what you're talking about when you talk about the 1%, your numbers are good, is that the amount of economic activity generated to earn and pay that percentage when separated out by capital gains versus personal income, which was the false argument used, for instance, against Mitt Romney in the campaign, separating capital gains and, and earned income. Third, second, on BP, you really should learn how the system works. How it works with subsidies is you subsidize losses as any corporation, individual, filing, or as a major corporation. Up to 250 million is considered by the IRS a small <coughs> business, that's your cap. So if you subsidize losses, BP didn't get a redistribution under those subsidies. It typically goes to smaller cap companies in oil and gas. Two minutes. Let me respond to because I perfectly well understand the system, the tax code. And I believe it wrong that I should be and that we should be subsidizing the losses of these companies. In the same way that I believe it wrong, and I believe that your movement, which began out of this same anger, I believe it wrong that we should have paid for their losses and risks on I'll losses. agree with you on getting rid of I'll agree, I'll agree with you on getting rid of subsidies. I absolutely believe in that. So what you do is reform the tax code, turn it around so that you have lower corporate taxes, which allows the corporations to maintain their profit margin, and then they get, no, by no, the way. I would believe in lower corporate taxes if no. they really were paying 35%, but everybody here knows that they're not paying 35%. Okay. We're subsidizing them heavily, and no, they're not the they whole the world. They're not losses. paying 35%. You don't know the tax code. When they start paying 35%, then we'll talk about lowering the tax code, and they're stashing their money offshore. There's $32 trillion in offshore shadow economy money. This is from the Guardian newspaper. There's $32 trillion in offshore money, in offshore money. That's not being taxed by any country. It's being stashed away. And God knows what's happening to that money because there's absolutely no accountability around it. Until you address the offshore tax havens, until you address the offshore tax havens, which by the way, Goldman Sachs and plenty of Wall Street that hedge their bets with Republicans and Democrats, so this isn't a partisan issue. All of those corporations are 30 seconds occupied. cheating, massively cheating the American people with their offshore investments. And that's not just Romney, that's Obama as well. You didn't get the number. Oh. <laughs> it's all right. I'm breaking blood on the clock. All right. I'll, I'll come out and come at this from a couple of perspectives for you. The big picture perspective, because I, mean, I think you miss on your side, is this government has grown too big. You, you must recognize the numbers we just gave you on who pays the taxes. The wealthy pay the taxes. The top 10% pay 73% of the taxes. Another factoid that One minute, to, to recognize is you can confiscate, folks, confiscate all of the income made by people making 350000 or more and only run this government through June. The problem is the spending, the largesse of this government. <laughs> The next awards. Fine, fine. No. The, the next Phyllis, we have a philosophical disagreement. You guys want to take from the rich, you want them to pay more. You do not create wealth, you do not have multiple 30 seconds to money. You do not do it. You don't grow the economy by, by taking from them. You grow by robust economic activity, which is spurred by low taxes, so people get in and try stuff and build businesses and make jobs. You reduce the rate, but you cut the loopholes completely. Make every all the corporations pay it. Yes. Ten seconds for an optimizer. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. You said that you want George Soros to give you a check, so you have party will take. This is what we need to do. We need all these. Uh, we're done. We're done. We're done. Yeah. They need to pay. They need to pay. Time, time, time. Really Respect the clock. Respect the clock. Occupy. Occupy. How much time? Occupy. How much time do you have? Twenty seconds to finish. Final thing. Final thing. You guys need to figure out the redistribution of time. Hey, I'm the host here. 
25 seconds for you guys to make up for the time. A, a person's labor and efforts were never supposed to be taxed in this country. Yeah. That's the one. I mean, all our use of the commons, our use of everything that we all collectively own should be taxed. Like pollution, like the use of our water. If somebody is overusing a resource, no, 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 and we will use our resource as well instead of interrupting me, we will actually start using our resources well and efficiently when the price of those resources Okay, we're not done, 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 done. Okay. I, I, I actually, that was very interesting. I actually was also, well, that, you, that, you, that, that's not my problem. You guys, you're, you're your own team. All right, let me, let me, I've got a question for both Occupy and, and, um, and Tea Party. And I'm going to ask the question to the Occupy guys first. A, a big part of your issue with the way we run our country is consumption. Now, David brought up a very interesting point. He's going for a consumption tax. Purely consumption. With a with a certain above a certain threshold, so people under a certain threshold don't have to pay tax at all. I'm just curious. Let's go back. Let's just go one quickly. Would you be okay with a consumption tax, and we would take away all, any kind of income tax? A sales tax. 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 It's called a rebate. On consumption, a okay. larger percentage yeah. of the income on consumption, then I would be in the rebate. The, the other issue is that when you tax a commodity, it creates a dead weight <coughs> loss in the whole economy. You we're not we're debating tax, we're only really a good right? and that's simple so question. It creates a dead weight loss, which is a huge inefficiency for the whole entire economy. There's a fixed amount of money. We're filibustering now, no, 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 sorry. I just want to guess or no. Because so, sometimes, sometimes. I'm actually a fan of Okay, you're also a I'll 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 say yes. I feel like in America we're spoiled. We're the land of flowing water and free Wi-Fi. And yes, to a certain degree, it's unsustainable the way that we're living. If we did a consumption tax on things that were malicious to the entire country... No, it would be a straight, a straight consumption tax on all no, of us. I'm only for a tax on our natural resources, so we use them efficiently. That's okay. So you're enough. You're enough. Okay. Use them efficiently. The, the Earth Income Tax Credit was invented by Bill Clinton. I hear absolutely coming. That's not what I'm asking for. Okay. A consumption tax. Yes or no? And now you guys going to want to get rid of it. So the prebate would be there until you could get this thing in. And then once you start hitting the poor with tons of taxes, then the prebate will be evil and disappear. And then only the poor will be paying all that. That's a no. Go ahead, Harrison. <laughs> okay, so there's a, there's a possibility. You guys, I know you, obviously you're for it. Well, I think that taxes is the root of all evil. Right? You go with subsidies, lobbies, payrolls. Not the question. Talking about consumption. So you know, this is a no. You don't want any taxation at all. Tax code, the garbage, have a big bonfire, roast marshmallow. Uh, Pamela, roast marshmallow, consumption tax. No taxation, only with defense, that's it. Oh my god, I got fucked. Consumption tax is fine with me. Okay. No taxes. No taxes at all? What? What? Alright, listen, this is very, there's a, there's a big split here. Okay, we are going to move away from domestic issues. Let's talk a little bit about foreign policy. I would like to find out what everybody, what people think here the role of the United States in global affairs should be. What is, what should our role be? Should we be a, the police of the world? Should we pull back and not be involved at all? Something in between. Let's start with the Tea Party. Uh, 